Praise the Lord, everybody. I've got a Bible study for y'all today. This is the second installment in my priesthood in my priesthood series. Got a little tongue tied there, and the title for this Bible study is "Requirements for Priesthood Consecration." So we're looking at the requirements of priesthood in in this part of my priesthood series. The text uh, I've got a few texts of scriptures to read. Uh, the first one is Exodus first chapter 32 verse 29. For Moses has said, Consecrate yourselves today to the Lord, even every man upon his brother. Upon, sorry, I, I gotta read that again. Alright, I lost my spot. For Moses has said, Consecrate yourselves today to the Lord, even every man upon his son and upon his brother that he may bestow upon you a blessing this day. And we're skipping over to, to the book of Joshua, chapter 24, verse 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom ye, whom ye will serve, whether the gods which are your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. So we got uh, two uh, texts. Oops. Hold on just a second. So Moses called the Levites uh, to consecrate themselves to God after the mess with the molten calf a, a few chapters ago. I think it was chapter 37, maybe 38. Um, uh, and after the molten calf a, a fiasco, uh, 3,000 were killed that day. 3,000 that gave themselves to the molten calf. The, the Levites took their swords and they slayed them. Now, and Joshua declared, As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord to consecrate himself and his family to God. Now, consecration is the first requirement for priesthood. What is the definition of consecration? The dictionary notes that that to consecrate means to, to make or declare sacred, to set apart and dedicate to the service of a deity, in this case, God. They suffer an object of honor or veneration, to hallow, to, de to devote or dedicate to some purpose. Uh, now, a question I've got to ask you is this. What is your, what, what is your definition of consecration? What does consecration mean to you? Now, I've asked myself uh, those questions, and I have my answer somewhere, right here. I, I had them posted on my door, and, and I just really had to think about it. So what is my definition of consecration? Well, it, it is, it is the dedication of something for a sole purpose, a devotion to God, a dedication to God, to hallow yourself and for the service to God, to make yourself available and usable to God, to give yourself to God, to surrender to God. And what does consecration mean to me? It is to be wholly dedicated to the Lord God, to give my attention, my affection, my devotion to God, to give myself away to Him. To surrender my heart and my life uh, to Him. Not only so, so He can use me, but so I can glorify Him with my life. De uh, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4 and 5. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. The reasons we dedicate and consecrate ourselves to God it, it, it include what He did, who He is, but above all, because we love and adore Him. Love is a great motivator for consecration. We ought to love Him with all our hearts, with all our souls, and with all our might. We have a decision to make. Consecrate yourself to God or consecrate yourself to the world. Consecration begins with setting apart time to dedicate to God, time to study the Word of God, the 
to pray, to fast, to be faithful to the house of God, to fellowship with fellow saints, and to praise and worship Him. The more we give ourselves to God, the more God consumes our lives. God is the center. Let God be the center of your life and consecrate yourself to Him. We ought to serve God joyfully. Never lose, never lose the joy of serving God. Losing the joy of serving God and consecrating yourself to God is very detrimental. Don't tire yourself out or you'll be inclined to begin consecrating yourself to the world and backslide. Don't ever lose your joy in serving and consecrating your life to God. Uh, I had a conversation with a girl in my youth group and we were just having one of those conversations and she was talking about how a friend of hers used to serve God and he lost his joy and I, I, I don't believe he's, he's living for God right now. He, he lost his joy and he backslid. That's a tragedy. Matthew 6, chapter, uh, chapter 6, verse 24. How do I have more? No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and maintenance. We cannot serve two masters. We cannot, we cannot be consecrated to God and to the world at the same time. We can't give, give ourselves to God and to the world at the same time. That, that is inconsistency. We need to make sure that God is the top priority in our lives over everything else. God is the number one priority in our lives. A few months ago, I came across in this blog while surfing the web, just, just typing in uh, songs. And... And I came across a blog William McDowell wrote about the song, I Give Myself Away, which is the song that's playing in the background. And the title of the blog is this, A Dangerous Song to Sing. He pointed out that it is one thing to sing the song, but another thing to live and walk it. It is easy to sing about giving yourself away to God, uh, but it is incredibly difficult to actually live and give yourself away to him in real life. It is incredibly hard. A lot of people, they struggle with giving themselves away and serving it, serving it themselves to God in real life. Uh, we humans are control freaks in a sense. And we just struggle. We struggle in giving ourselves away to God. Now I myself, we, I, I struggle with it sometimes. Now, our morning prayer every morning should be, I give myself away to you today. Don't let it be just a song. Don't let it be just words to say. Let it be a reality. Let surrender and consecration be reality. In conclusion, as priests, we need to, be, we need to have consecrated lives and hearts to the Lord. God wants priests who are sold out to Him alone. Consecrate yourselves today to the Lord. Choose to serve the Lord. Let consecration be a reality. God bless you all in Jesus' name. And stay tuned for the next addition to my priesthood series.